problem solving involving permutations given this following situation. The first one, if repetition is allowed. The second one, if repetition is not allowed. And the third one, we have other conditions. Let's start with the first example. Example number one. How many three-digit numbers can be formed from the digits 5, 6, 7, 8, if? Letter A. A rep repetition of digits is allowed. Letter B. Repetition of digits is not allowed. And letter C. Repetition of digits is not allowed. And 6 must be last digit. So, dito gagamit po tayo ng fundamental counting principles. So, mas madaling gumamit ng FCP. So, let us have this one. Repetition of digits is allowed. Since 3 digit numbers lang naman ang ating kukuhanin. So, let us have 1, 2, and 3. We have 3 digit numbers. So, ilan yung digit numbers na involved sa atin? Ilan? We have 1, 2, 3, 4. Sabi niya, repetition is allowed. So, doon sa unang digit, kung repetition is allowed, Pwede kang gumamit ng apat na numbers. Pwede si 5, pwede si 6, pwede si 7, pwede si 8. Okay? Next tayo, dun sa second digit of numbers mo. So, repetition is allowed ulit. So, pwede ulit si 5, si 6, si 7, and 8. So, ilan digit ulit ang pwede? Ilang numbers? We have 4 pa rin. Next, sa last digit number mo, repetition ulit is allowed. Ilan ulit ang pwede? Pwede si 5, si 6, si 7, and then si 8. So, you have 4 times 4 times 4. So, uh, if the repetition is allowed, the numbers of the 3 digit numbers that you can be formed is we have 64. Ayan. 64 3 digit numbers. So, yan yung makikreate mo. We have 64. Is it clear? Next tayo, let us have letter B. Repetition of digits is not allowed. Since repetition of digits is not allowed, ito yung pangkaraniwan. So, we have 1, 2, and 3. So, ang ating object, ilan? We have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, sa unang digit, pwede si 5, si 6, si 7, at si 8. So, that is 4 objects or 4 numbers that are involved. Next tayo. So, nakapaglagay ka na ng isang number dyan. So, sa pangalawang digit, hindi na po pwedeng maulit yung isa mong nakuha. Kaya, ilan na lang yung involved? We have 3. Then, next one, ilan na lang ang involved? We have 2. So, we have 4 times 3 times 2. So, 4 times 3, we have 12 times 2. The answer here is 24. 24 3-digit numbers. Ayan. So, since problem solving tayo, kailangan po ang inyong sagot ay laging merong unit or description. Is it clear? Next tayo na letter C. Repetition of digits is not allowed and 6 must be last digit. So, how is it? So, 3-digit ulit tayo. We have 1, 2, 3-digit. And sabi niya, yung 6 daw ay must be the last number. So, ilang object ba si 6? Isa lang. So, lagay mo dyan, 1. And then, the next one. So, yung unang digit mo, yung unang digit mo, hindi na isa natin isasama si 6. Okay? Kasi nga, repetition is not allowed. So, wala na si 6, ilan na lang ang matitirang object natin. So, we have 5, 7, and 8 only. How many, is it? How many is it? So, we have here 3. Okay? So, since repetition is not allowed ulit, so, meron ka ng isa dito, meron ka ng isa, nabawasan na naman ng object mo, dalawa na ang nawala. So, ilan na lang ang natira pa? So, we have here 2. And, just multiply it. We have 3 times 2 times 1. The answer, we have six digits so we have six um three digit numbers yan we have six three digit numbers ang makikreate mo kung ang inyong dulo is six and then um repetition is not allowed is it clear so that is it let's have another example number two 
How many different five letter arrangements are there in the word cards? Letter A, if repetition is allowed. Letter B, if repetition is not allowed. Letter C, if C, A must always be together and repetition is not allowed. Let us have first letter A. Repetition is allowed. So, we have C, A, R, D, S. So, since magkakaibang object siya and then five letters arrangement, let us have five object. One, two, three, four, five. And then, repetition is allowed. How many objects do we have? We have also one, two, three, four, five. So, meaning that is 5 for the first one, pwede sila lahat. Then, sa second one, pwedeng maulit, we have 5. Another one, we have 5. Another one, we have 5. And the last one, we have 5. So, we have 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. So, yan yung multiply natin for us to find um, the 5-letter arrangement if repetition is allowed. So, the product of this one, we have 3,125 ways. Ayan. So, that is the answer. If repetition is allowed. What if we have letter B? Repetition is not allowed. So, we have 5 letters ulit. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 letters ang gagamitin natin. And then, since repetition is not allowed, dun sa una, gagamit ka ng 5 objects. Pwede sila lahat. Since nailagay mo na yung isang object dito, ang pwede na lang sa susunod, we have 4 objects na lang. Ayan. So, 5 times 4 na. Then, since dalawa na yung object na nailagay mo dyan, tatlong object na lang yung pupwede. So, we have 3, next we have 2, then we have 1. Then, just multiply it 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. The product is 120 ways. Pwede naman 120 ways. Ways na lang yung isulat niya. Okay? Let's have letter C. If C, A must always together and repetition is not allowed. Sabi dito, si C, A daw ay lagi magkasama. Ayan. So, we have here CA as one object. Then, ang matitira na lang is three object. So, one object plus three objects. Sino yung three objects na yun? So, yun yung natira na si R, D, and S. Is it clear? So, therefore, ang involved nating objects ngayon is four. So, this one, since four objects, that is equal to four times three times two times one. Why? So, po, pwede mo siya silang pagpalit-palitin. That is the permutations of the four objects. Or, we have four factorial. Okay? So, four factorial, multiply pa ulit natin kanino. So, si C and A, pwede pang magkapalit yan. So, for us to find the permutation of C and A, this one is two factorial. Is it clear? So, we have four factorial times two factorial. So, this is now your uh, solution. So, meaning, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, multiplied by 2 times 1. So, we have 4 times 3, 12 times 2, 24. 24 times 2, we have 48. So, this is the answer. We have 48 ways. Is it clear? So, let's have another example pa. Last example po tayo. Number three. In how many ways can two teachers, four girls, and six boys be arranged in a row if, letter A, there are no restrictions? Since there are no restrictions, um, wala tayong any conditions na nandito. So, i-arrange lang natin si teachers at saka si teacher, girls, and six boys. So, how will you arrange that? So, we have two teachers plus four girls plus six boys. So, add mo lang yan. Six plus four, then plus two, the answer is twelve. So, we have twelve factorial lang po yan. So, this is now your answer. So, twelve factorial, if you are going to simplify twelve factorial, that is twelve times eleven, nine, nine, uh, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So, just multiply that. And sa good po dyan, we have um, 
1,600 ways. So, that is the answer. Okay? So, that is the answer for letter A. Okay? So, multiply of 12 times, 11 times, 8 times, 9 times. Ayan. Next tayo. The boys must be seated together. So, yung mga boys daw ay magkakatabi. So, therefore, yung six boys, yung six boys, eto ay isang grupo. So, one group na siya. So, i-add na lang natin si four girls at saka si two teachers. Okay? So, we have one group, four boys. We have one, kasi magkakatabi sila. So, four, five, plus two teachers. The answer is seven. So, seven factorial mo siya po pwedeng pagpalit-palitin. O, oh, i-permutate itong grupo na to. But then, itong six boys na to ay pwede pang magkapalit-palit. So, the permutation of six boys, we have six factorial. Did you get it? So, itong isang grupo, apat na girls and two teachers, pag pinermutate mo yan, we have seven factorial. Kasi, four plus one plus two, uh, 4 plus 1, we have 5 plus 2, we have 7. That is 7 factorial. I-permutate mo siya. Then, si 6 boys, po pwede pa silang magkapalit-palit ng pwesto. The permutation of that is 6 factorial. Did you get it? Then, if you are going to multiply this one, eto ay, we have 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Multiply mo pa kay 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, so ang sagot dyan ay We have We have uh, 3,628,800 ways Yan, so that is the answer Okay, next tayo Sabi dito Girls must be seated together So si girls naman daw po yung magkakasama Ilang girls yun We have 4 girls Will be 1 group Plus, yung anim na boys, six boys, plus the two teachers. So, one group itong girls na to. So, how is it? Two teachers. We have one group plus six boys, then two teachers. So, we have six, seven, eight, nine. So, that is nine factorial. Okay? And then, si four girls, pwede pa magkapalit-palit. That is four factorial. Ayan na yan. Then, just solve it, simplify the answer in this question. We have 8,709,120 ways. So, yun na yan. So, that is how will you solve uh, problems involving permutation. So, this is the part 2 of my video. May part 1 pa tayo. So, thank you for listening. Oh, 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 oh,